Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to focus on opening the heart, also working into the hips and full body. There's a playlist in the link below if you would like to some music to flow to when you're ready. Grabbing your mat and we're going to make our way all the way down to the ground. So when you're ready, we're going to start in a wide-legged child's pose, taking the knees mat width apart and allowing the toes to gently connect, walking the hands all the way out. Just connecting to the breath, allowing the forehead to rest on the mat or a block or even your pillow. Relaxing the shoulders and notice the palms pressing into the earth. Taking five deep belly breaths. Inhaling through the nose and releasing from the mouth. Notice yourself melting into the mat and tuning in to what it is that your body needs. And you take two more breaths exactly where you are. When you're already noticing the belly, the core engagement as the palms begin to press into the earth, walking them back towards the body and coming to a kneeling position. We're going to tuck the toes, stretching the tops of the feet. If that's too much, no, you can grab a block to sit on. Just taking a few gentle movements from side to side as we massage into the toes, the tops of the feet. A soft gaze and bringing your attention inwards, asking yourself, what is it that brought you to your mat? As you inhale, squeeze the glutes, lifting the hips, palms peel overhead. The palms connect. Exhale, hands float through heart center. Glutes meet all the way back toward the heels. Two more rounds. Inhale, lifting, reaching through the sides of the body. Exhale, floating all the way back down. Last round, glutes squeeze. Inhale to lift, palms feel nice and one. Exhale, staying up as the palms float all the way to your heart center and closing down the eyes for a moment. And then as you inhale, draw the shoulders towards the ears. And exhale, relax. Taking a few shoulder rolls. The palms remain kissing out in front of your heart. One more round. Taking a moment to scan through the body. Noticing any tightness, any knots or niggles. And as you notice these areas, throughout your practice, allow your breath to draw to these areas, expanding them. And with every exhale, gently releasing, creating space. One more breath. When you're ready, releasing the hands by your side, gently flickering the eyes open as the left palm presses into the earth. Right leg extends, right arch of the foot presses into the earth. Inhale, right arm begins to lift towards the sky. This may be enough for you. Option to take the gaze out in front or towards the left fingertips. When you're ready, drawing the right toes towards the face, beginning to lift the right leg option to untuck those left toes or keeping them pressing in. Beginning to extend the right arm overhead, finding length through the right side of the body. Reaching the fingertips, one more breath. And then when you're 
already bending into the right knee right palm takes a hold of the foot pressing the foot into the palm expanding open notice the right shoulder peeling open the hip deep belly breath a nice big inhale One more breath. Gently releasing the right foot, right arm, right foot places back down to the earth. Left hand presses into the earth as we begin to rise. Right arm slides all the way down that right leg. Left arm peels nice and high, extending overhead. Gaze comes underneath the left arm. Notice that left shoulder peeling open. One more breath. And exhale, unraveling all the way back to center. Right leg bends in. Left foot extends, arch of the left foot presses into the earth. Right palm presses in. Notice the knuckles, the palm pressing in. Left fingertips peel all the way towards the sky. Gaze follows those left fingertips or option to take it down to your right palm when you're ready. Beginning to lift that left leg, left toes drawing towards your face, squeezing that left glute, engaging into the core. One long line as you begin to extend the left fingertips overhead. Beautiful, finding length through the side of the body. Steady breaths, two more. When you're already bending into the left leg, left arm comes behind as it takes a hold of the outer edge of the foot, foot pressing into the palm as you peel the left shoulder open. Option to keep that gaze down towards the right fingertips or taking it straight out in front. Continue to press the left foot into the palm. Notice your breath flowing throughout your entire body. Opening the heart. One more breath. Without slingshotting. Gently unraveling, releasing the left leg. Beautiful. Left foot presses into the earth, windmilling. Right arm comes overhead, left hand slides down that leg. Right shoulder peels open. Gaze um, comes underneath the right armpit. One more breath. Exhale, unraveling all the way back to center, making your way to a tabletop position, all fours. Palms, fingertips, knuckles pressing into the earth, wrist, elbows and shoulder stack, drawing into the belly. Notice the crown lengthening towards the top of your mat, knees pressed underneath the hips. When you're ready, tops of the feet press into the earth. As we inhale, we squeeze the glutes and the core lifting, hovering the knees. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently lowering, lowering the knees. Drop the belly. Inhale, take the gaze up. Exhale, rounding through the back. Navel presses towards the spine. Drop the belly. Inhale, gaze comes up. As you move through your cat and cow for five breaths, closing down the eyes, noticing what it is your body needs. Perhaps taking gentle circles as the shoulders draw over the wrist. Any movements that feel nourishing to your body today.
Beautiful. Two more breaths. Yeah. Nice. When you're ready, tops of the feet press into the mat as we find stillness, engaging the core, the glutes, palms press. Lift the knees, hover, holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently lowering, tuck the toes, lifting the tailbone, making your way to your first downward dog, pedaling out through the feet, gaze coming in between the legs, keeping a generous bend in the knees if that feels right for you as we make our way to our first downward dog. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful. Then eventually when you're ready, finding stillness as you nod the head from left to right. Notice the chest pressing towards the thighs. And taking three mindful breaths here. Then when you're ready, we're going to pull the body all the way forward into a high plank. Just rocking forwards and back, massaging into the wrist, warming up into the arms. And then finding stillness as the left palm presses into the earth, making our way to our side plank, option to lower that left leg, turning the left toes out. Stack or stagger the feet as we peel the right fingertips all the way towards the sky. Beautiful. Keeping that hip, right hip nice and stacked on the left. Strength of your breath. Unraveling, right palm presses into the earth. When you're ready, right knee draws towards the right elbow. Pressing it back, remaining in your plank. Right knee draws into that right elbow. Exhale, press away. One more round, right knee draws into the right elbow and silently planting the right foot to the outer edge of the right palm. Coming into your lizard, option to lower that back knee and untuck the toes or for a deeper stretch, keeping that left knee lifted and imagine you're drawing your crown and your left heel away from one another. We're not here for too long, so if possible, close down the eyes, taking three deep nourishing breaths. Notice the spine lengthening as you draw the chest towards the top of the mat. And when you're ready, gently flickering the eyes open, toe healing the right foot to the centre of your mat, framing the foot, lowering the left knee, untucking the toes, Inhale, coming to your low lunge. Shoulders relax, reaching the fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, right palm comes forward, left behind. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, right palm comes forward, left behind. When you're ready, reversing the right palm towards the sky. Peaceful warrior. Notice the left palm either creeping down the back of the leg or wrapping it around your lower back. Strong glutes. Exhale. We're milling the arms as they frame the front foot. Tuck the left toe, coming back into your high plank. When you're ready, lowering all the way down to your belly, untuck the toes, press the tops of the feet into the earth, 
fingertips come as wide as the mat. Inhale, lift baby cobra. Open the heart. Exhale, gently release. Inhale to lift. Exhale, gently release. Beautiful. This time, inhale as we lift, pressing. Palms press into the earth. Tuck the toes. Downward dog. Chest presses towards the thighs. Tailbone lift. Walking the hands all the way to the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Taking the thumbs into the elbow creases. Gently swaying the hips from side to side. Letting the head hang heavy. Then when you're ready, releasing the fingertips, walking the hands all the way back out into your high plank. This time, right palm presses into the earth, left fingertips peel, option to stack or stagger the feet. Option to challenge yourself, taking the gaze towards the left palm. Remembering we're stacking that left hip on the right rather than rolling out. I'm showing you in both directions so you can see my form. One more breath. Releasing that left palm into the earth, revisiting your high plank. Beautiful. When you're ready, remaining here, lifting that left leg. Left knee draws to the outer edge of the left elbow. Exhale, press away. Left knee draws to the outer edge. Beautiful. Slow, mindful movements. One more round. This time as the left knee draws to the outer edge, stepping the left foot to the outer edge of the left hand. Option to come to your lizard to lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Or keeping that right knee lifted as you draw the right heel and the crown away from one another. Lengthening the spine. Closing down the eyes and feeling into the hips. If you notice your right knee sinking, know that you can lower it. One more breath. When you're ready, gently toe healing the left foot into center as we frame the left foot. Lowering the back knee, untucking the toes, engaging the core. As the left foot presses into the earth, fingertips brush the earth. Inhale, begin to rise. Lengthening through the outer edges of the body. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse the left palm towards the sky. Right arm either slides down the back of the leg or wraps around the back, reversing your warrior. One more breath. Exhale, unravel, framing the front foot, right toes become tucked, stepping all the way to the top of your mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, forward fold. Allowing the toes to come together, the heels slightly apart. Sitting the tailbone back as the fingertips brush the earth, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sinking that tailbone down slightly deeper. If you are quite tight in your shoulders, know that you can come to a V with your arms. Allow the knees to press together, seeing if you can see your toes as the weight comes into those heels. 
And then when you're ready, gently begin to rise, palms kiss over. Exhale, fold, fold it to Nasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, fold, palms press into the earth. Option to step, float or jump to the back of your mat. High to low plank. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, pressing back, downward dog. Right foot presses into the earth. Inhale, left leg begins to rise. When you're ready, rippling the body forward, left knee draws towards the centre of your chest. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, left knee draws to the centre of your chest, silently planting the left foot. Outer edge of the right foot presses into the earth. Inhale, warrior one. Reaching the fingertips, notice reaching through the sides of the body all the way to those extended fingers. Exhale, frame the left foot, stepping the left foot back, right heel turns up, high to low plank. Inhale, cobra or upward. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Left foot presses into the earth, right leg begins to rise. Ripple the body forward, inhale, right knee draws to the chest. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, right knee draws to the centre of the chest. As we silently plant the right foot, outer edge of the left foot presses into the earth. Inhale, warrior one. Opening the heart. Reaching the fingertips, drawing the belly in as we sink a little deeper. Right knee tracks in line with the right ankle. Deep belly breath. Exhale, framing the right foot. Left toes turn in, stepping all the way back. High plank, low plank. Beautiful. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale. Press back, downward dog. Gaze comes forward. Toes begin to press into the earth. Heels lift, knees bend. Option to step, float or jump all the way to the top of your mat. Toe mounds come together, heels slightly apart. Utkatasana, chair pose. Beautiful, hands come together. Lifting up through the heart, gaze comes over towards the right. Allowing the left fingertips to press. Peeling the shoulders open. Option to remain here, keeping the knees nice and even. Left fingertips peel down towards the earth, right fingertips rise. One more breath. Sinking the tailbone a little deeper. When you're ready, inhale, begin to rise. Exhale, floating all the way down to your Ukatasana. Right palm comes to meet the outer edge of that right leg, keeping the hips and the knees nice and even. Palms pressing, gaze comes over the left shoulder. The option to peel the left fingertips towards the sky. Squeezing those knees. Imagine you have a $100 bill, you don't want to let it go. One more breath. Inhale, palms peel overhead, rise. Exhale, thumbs brush across the face, floating through to your heart center. Remaining here in your Tadasana. Notice the steadiness of your breath. To relax the shoulders away from the ears. One more breath. When you're ready, peel the palms nice and high. Exhale, hands float to your heart center. Inhale, right leg begins to lift towards the chest. When you're ready, turning that right knee out to the side. 
opening the hip. Beautiful. Right knee coming back in towards the center. Binding your drishti, your point of focus, as you earth the left foot into the ground. Beautiful. Right hand wraps around the inside of the right foot. This may be enough for you today. Keeping the hips nice and even. Option to remain here or floating into your dancer. The wobble. Now opening up the heart, the hip. One more breath. When you're ready, nice strong left leg. Begin to release. Both arms peel overhead, right ankle crosses over left knee as we sink deep. Sink in the tailbone back, left knee bends, chest lifts. Hands coming to your heart center. Begin to straighten, staying on that left leg, right knee returns back to the chest. And then pressing all the way back, warrior three. Oh, getting the lungs, left foot earthed into the ground, right heel and crown pressing away, lengthening through the spine. When you're ready, bending into the left knee, right toes meet the ground, peeling open, warrior two, left heel, right heel, press into the earth, sinking deep. Notice those inner thighs peeling open. Check in the alignment. Strong warrior, proud chest. Hinge the hips forward, invert the left palm. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Hands come to your heart center. Left toes turn all the way in. Inhale, nice and high. As you come into your straddle, exhale, fingertips draw behind you. Option to interlace the fingers, open the heart. Gaze comes up. Exhale, allow your chest to begin to melt forward. Palms kiss together as they peel overhead. Option to take the feet slightly wider. One more breath. Exhale. Keeping the palms exactly where they are. Squeezing those inner thighs. Begin to lift. Gaze comes up. Releasing the fingertips. As you turn to face the back of your mat, right toes turn in. Warrior two. Right heel, left heel in line. Strong warrior. Engaging into the core, the inner thighs, sinking a little deeper. When you're ready, windmill the arms. As you frame the front foot, left heel turns in, high plank, low plank, cobra or upward dog, lift the chest, exhale, press back, downward dog, chest presses towards the thighs, pedaling out through the feet, left heel presses into the earth, Inhale, right leg begins to lift. Rip of the body forward, right knee draws in towards the center of the chest, planting the right foot. Gaze comes up. Keeping that core engaged when you're ready, stepping the left foot all the way to the top of your mat. Toe mounds come together, heels slightly apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, fold, Utkatasana. Bend the knees, 
Send the tailbone back. Inhale, peel the arms nice and high. Beautiful. When you're ready, hands come to your heart center. Begin to rise. Allowing that right foot to earth into the ground. Left knee draws towards the center of your chest. And then allowing the left knee to come out, opening up into the hips. Beautiful. Finding your drishti, your point of focus. Left knee returns to center. Left hand interlaces the arch of the foot. Option to remain here or dances. Left foot pressing into the palm. When you're ready, gently releasing. Palms come overhead. Left ankle comes over, right knee sinking nice and deep. Tailbone sends back. Beautiful, lifting up through the chest, little bubbles. Before we're only human. When you're ready. Beautiful, hands come to the center, left foot presses behind you. Warrior three, begin to bend into that left leg. Right arm comes forward, toe, left toes plant, warrior two. Checking your alignment. Strong warrior, relax the shoulders away from the hips. Hinge the hips forward, invert the left palm. Peaceful warrior. Front knee stays bent in line with the ankle. One more breath. Exhale, warrior two. Hands come to your heart center. Left toe, right toes, sorry, turn. Deep breath, when you're ready, turning the heels in, as you come into your yogi squat, toes turn out, opening into the hips, sinking nice and deep, beautiful, when you're ready, right heel lifts, lower, left heels lift, lower, Open the arms to cactus. And then release as you let the right arm come underneath the left eagle arms. Elbows in line with the face, shoulders draw back, heart opens. Right heel lifts. Lower. Left. Lower. Inhale, cactus here. Exhale, release. Left arm comes underneath the right. Eagle arms on the opposite side, staying nice and low, right heel lifts, lower, left, lower, breathe open, one last cactus arm, and exhale, begin to rise, palms come down towards the thighs, when you're ready, right toes turn in, left toes turn to the top of your mat, warrior two, back to the top of your mat. Sinking nice and deep. When you're ready, peel the arms, frame the left foot. Turn the right toes in, right heel lifts. Allow the right heel, the right toes, sorry, to step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold, fold, toe healing the feet so that the toes come to the edges of your mat, heel slightly in. Sinking all the way down to your malasana. Palms press towards one another. Allow the top of the arms to open the thighs. Chest lifts nice and proud. We're here for a few moments. Allow the weight to come into the back of the heel. Know that you can always grab your block. As you close down your eyes and be here. One more deep 
deep belly breath. Big inhale through the nose. Release, become present. Release the fingertips to the earth. Legs gently begin to straighten. Toe healing the feet so that they become hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, palms press into the earth. Option to come through your last vinyasa. Step, float or jump to the back of your mat. High to low plank. The slowest vinyasa you've done all practice. Inhale, lift the heart. And as you exhale, toe mats come together, knees nice and wide. Child's pose, forehead rest on the mat. to walk towards the center of your chest ankles cross over and then come in to sit on your sit bones as the toe mounds come together knees come together coming into our navasana option one to keep the fingertips pressing towards the back of the legs or option two to let the palms face up and extend the legs beautiful if you're feeling it into your lower back please come back to option one we're going to sink a little lower. Draw the knees into the chest. Option to come to an active. Sink a little lower. Knees into the chest. Beautiful. Move with the flow of your breath. Last two. Last one. Holding for five. Shaking core strong. Three, two, and one. Allow the feet to press into the earth. Wrapping the forearms around the shins. And imagine pulling your heart forward. Lifting up. Notice the glutes pressing into the earth. Close down your eyes and give yourself a big, beautiful hug. When you're ready, crossing the ankles over, Come to lay all the way onto your bellies. Legs come underneath. Extending the left arm out long. Bending that right leg in towards the glute. Allow the right fingertips to press underneath the shoulder. Relax the left earlobe onto the mat. And when you're ready, press your body away. So you're rolling that right foot behind the left knee. Opening up into that left shoulder. If that is not enough for you, know that you can cactus your left arm. Deep nourishing breath. Notice the breath becoming deeper and deeper. And exhale, releasing all the way back to centre. Palms release beside you. Both knees bend in, heels meeting the glutes. Taking the palms as they wrap around the outer edges of the feet, gaze comes forward. Option to rest the chin on the mat. Relax the shoulders. Engage into the core and the inner thighs. 
as you press the tops of the feet into the palms, coming into your bow pose. Allowing the breath to continue to flow. Being mindful if your knees are coming out wide, see if you can draw them in a little. And exhale, gently release. Releasing the right leg, keeping the left leg where it is, right arm comes out long. The left palm presses underneath the shoulder or the fingertips and left toes come behind that right knee. Option to cactus the right arm. You peel open. One more breath. Peeling open the heart. Gently release, left arm comes overhead. Then rolling all the way onto your back. Making our way around the mat today. <laughs> when you're ready, hugging both knees in towards the chest, wrapping the forearms around, lifting the forehead, giving a nice squeeze. Interlace the fingers, wrapping them around the right shin. Left leg comes long. Then lowering the head, gaze comes over the right shoulder, cactusing the right arm, left, right knee, sorry, comes across the body. We're here for three breaths, not too long. Both shoulder blades pressing into the mat. If you're like me and quite tight in your hips and lower back, you'll really feel this one getting into those areas. Exhale, gently release. Left knee draws in to meet the right palms wrap around or forearms wrap around the shins. Inhale, engage the core as you lift the forehead towards the knees. And exhale. Right leg extends long, fingertips interlace around the left. Gaze comes over the left shoulder. Right palm comes to the outside of the right leg, taking it across the body, cactusing the left arm. Both shoulder blades relax into the earth. One more breath. And exhale back to center. Extending the left leg out long as we make our way to our Shavasana. For one last round, extend the arms overhead. Toes come together. Toes point away. Invert the palms. Take a nice long stretch. Imagine as though it's your very first stretch of the morning. Big inhale. Exhale, release the palms beside you. Tops of the hands resting upon the earth. Feet falling as wide as the mat. Maybe just taking the hips and rocking them from side to side. And lifting the right shoulder, tucking it under, followed by the left. Deep inhale. Open the mouth, sigh out. Let's take two more rounds. Last round.
yourself to be here in stillness. Taking as much time as you need. And if you need to leave your mat, gently bending the knees and taking the feet as wide as your mat, letting the knees fall in towards one another. And then hugging the knees in towards the chest. you cross the ankles, palms come to the backs of the legs, and gently rocking forwards and back, and until you make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Once again, if you feel like you need a little more time, allow the eyes to remain soft here in your seated meditation. Otherwise, I thank you so much for joining me. Allow your palms to kiss at your heart centre, bowing your head in honour of your practice, arriving on your mats and tuning in to your body. I thank you so much for joining me. Namaste yogis.